right, guys, so it's me, Classic underscore Giacho, back in the building, yo, yeah, aka Fats Kimosabi, up in here, I wanna sit here and do my little video and rap show, nah, I'm just kidding, I used to be a rapper, but now I'm just an average actor and a toy collector on top of that, so I'm here to discuss today's finds of Cobra Island's Beachhead and Roblox version 2 that I managed to score at Target. And before I go and preview these figures, I want to give a round of applause of a saluting of guns to today's world's biggest loser who was whining, oh, you can't touch that. It's mine. It's my toy because you didn't want to let me see the little G.I. Joe nano cars. Yes, indeed. You are a loser. So, as I get into the unboxing, I am going to prevail. Beachhead first. And he is a very, very awesome figure. I like him. I like the way he sculpted so far. You can tell from the box. I don't want to damage the box. Even though I'm not one of those guys that collect box art, but these actually look pretty cool, man. Let me put my glasses on here. Oh, yeah, Shani. I'm going to wear my Kobato by Fogos. Uh, my, well, I can't say it's a Monaco if that's what it's called. So we got Beachhead unplugged from the box. All right. So here he is. This is what it looks like. And if you guys are aware... There is a beachhead floating out there that has blue eyes. I'm not sure if it's a manufactory default or if he's, uh, you know, made like that as a different variant. But he's pretty cool. Um, compared to the original 80s version, he does have um, the similar feature with the way his, health, his mask is sitting on him. Mm, the vest is, is more articulate as well as his holsters he's got a gun holster here and his knife holster there um let me see what else okay so let's take a look and see how he looks with the hat oh now nah, this is a true gi joe see back in the 80s i honestly have to say they should have made him like this looking with this hat with his beret and he's pretty badass, man. So let's put the guns and weapons on him. And his accessories. And see how he looks. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Follow me on a journey to TV land. Where I go and just have no freaking plan. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, that just fell. That's all right. All right. Oop, that knife fell. So we got the gun in the holster. I'll be right back. Okay, I had to pick up his knife because I dropped his knife. So now we got the knife. Alright. His backpack, which is pretty cool. Comes with looks like a missile launcher and his little arrows on here too. Let's see. Alright. Now, here's his crossbow. This kind of reminds me of the Scarlet, oh no, I'm sorry, Cover Girls crossbow from the original 80s figure. He's the second G.I. Joe that came out with a crossbow. Now we got his little machine gun. Yeah, boy. Yeah, buddy. Now we got him packed. Look at that beast. He's an animal, I say. He's an animal, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Tim Allen. That's my favorite comedian right there. Besides the late great, yes, Robin Williams. And Chris Farley. All right. So I'm going to hold for a second. All right. So um, in the card art, in this box, this is what comes with it, behind it. It's pretty cool. And then you got 
the four elements or symbols. Um, assuming these are the cobra ones, I'm not sure what this one. Uh, I'm gonna do some research on that. His name is Wade. Uh, my fault. Wayne Beachhead Schneiden. As you can see, up is backwards. My apologies, guys. Um, sometimes you might want to look at the box art and the card, like the inserts, because I recently found out that um, one of the wrestling figures, I think it was Bret the Hitman Hart, and he had like a quote in there, the best there was, the best there is, the best there ever will be, and then there was something else posted in there. So, you know, that pretty much covers Beachhead. So, I'm going to do another video discussing or unveiling Roblox. But, again, I want to shout out and salute and roast the biggest baby I've met in my entire life. Don't touch. You know what? That's going to be my next segment. The next time somebody tells me, oh, don't touch, it's mine, I'm going to be like this from King of Queens. Don't touch. Don't touch. If you remember that episode, it was when Doug Heffernan went to deliver a package and the bouncer opened the door and he goes, oh, you're the guy from the nightclub. Yeah. I need the person to sign for it. Give me the package. Ah, uh, I'm going to have to fray to say, no, you can't have it. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Alright, so that's my conclusion. And again, to the biggest baby I've seen at Target today, here is what I say. Stop. You get roasted for that. Because you know what? That was immature. And that was babyish. And that was childish over me wanting to look and see what the Nano G.I. Joe cars look like. Keep them, enjoy them, I don't care. This is Classic Underscore G.I. Joe signing over and out. And watch for the next video because I'm going to post it right after this one as soon as I'm done. Yo, to the Joe.